On July 1, 2025, a faint speck flickered across the screens of the Atlas Telescope in Chile, nestled under the star-strewn skies of the Atacama Desert. At first, astronomers thought it was just another asteroid, but within hours, its trajectory revealed something extraordinary. A hyperbolic orbit, unbound by our sun's gravity, screaming in from interstellar space at 58 kilometers per second. This wasn't a local rock, it was a cosmic wanderer, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected, named 3I-ATLAS. Its arrival sparked a global frenzy with over 200 observatories from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to backyard amateurs redirecting their gaze. Why the urgency? This comet isn't just passing through. It's challenging everything we know about comets, chemistry, and the distant stellar nurseries where planets are born. In this video, we'll unravel the mysteries of 3I-ATLAS, explore its bizarre traits, and reveal why it's rewriting our understanding of the cosmos. If you're as captivated by the universe as I am, stick around. This is a story you won't want to miss. Let's set the scene. Picture our solar system as a bustling cosmic highway with planets, asteroids, and comets orbiting in an orderly dance around the sun. Then, out of nowhere, 3i slash ATLAS barrels in, not following the rules. Its path is nearly flat, tilted just 5 degrees to the ecliptic plane, the disk where Earth, Mars, and Jupiter orbit. Compare that to Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor in 2017, which dove in at a steep 33 degrees or Borisov in 2019 angled at 44 degrees. Those random approaches are what you'd expect from objects wandering the galaxy's vastness. But 3I-ATLAS threads the needle, skimming past Mars at 0.19 AU, about 28 million kilometers, on October 3, 2025, Venus at 0.65 AU on November 3, and Jupiter's orbit at 0.36 astronomical units by March 16, 2026. Its closest approach to the Sun, or perihelion, hits on October 29th at 1.36 astronomical units, safely beyond Earth's orbit. This alignment isn't just lucky, it's a statistical oddity that's giving scientists multiple vantage points to study it. Imagine a rare bird flying through your backyard and you've got telescopes, cameras, and binoculars ready from every angle. That's what's happening right now. What makes 3I-ATLAS truly stand out, though, is its chemistry, which is turning heads and rewriting textbooks. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors on August 6th, it revealed a coma, a glowing cloud of gas and dust, dominated by carbon dioxide, with a CO2 to water ratio of about 8 to 1, or 89% CO2 when considering major volatiles. Typical comets in our solar system are water-heavy, with CO2 as a sidekick. Borisov, for example, was a water-rich classic, puffing out familiar gases like carbon monoxide and hydrogen cyanide. But 3I-ATLAS? It's like finding a snow cone made mostly of dry ice. Early data from JWST clocked it releasing 129 kilograms per second of CO2, and just 6.6 .6 kilograms per second of water at 4.5 astronomical units, far beyond Jupiter's orbit. By late August, NASA's Swift Observatory detected hydroxyl gas, a sign of water breaking down under sunlight, ramping up to 40 kilograms per second by 2.9 astronomical units, suggesting deeper water ice layers were finally vaporizing as the comet warmed. This layered structure hints at a formation far from its parent star, in a frigid zone where CO2 could freeze solid, perhaps billions of years ago, in a metal-poor stellar system. The surprises didn't stop there. The Very Large Telescope in Chile, scanning the coma in July, picked up strong nickel vapor emissions but barely any iron. In every comet we've studied, from Halley to Borisov, nickel and iron go hand in hand, forged together in supernovae and sublimating at similar temperatures. This decoupling is almost unheard of in nature. One theory suggests a carbon monoxide rich environment at extremely low temperatures could form volatile nickel compounds leaving iron behind but it's a stretch. Conditions like that are rare in the cosmos. On Earth we separate nickel from iron using industrial processes like the Mond process for nickel carbonyl. 
Nobody's saying this comet was forged in a factory, but the parallel is eerie and demands more data. The comets also depleted in carbon chain molecules like C2 and C3, which usually give comets their vibrant glow. Yet during a lunar eclipse on September 7, 2025, its coma shone a striking green, likely from cyanide or other rare emitters, not the usual carbon chains. It's like a cosmic puzzle where the pieces don't quite fit the picture we expected. Size is another head-scratcher. Early brightness measurements suggested a nucleus up to 20 kilometers wide, a giant compared to Oumuamua's 200 meters or Borisov's 1 kilometer. But Hubble's July 21st images, combined with non-gravitational acceleration data, narrowed it to 0.3 to 5.6 kilometers, likely under 1 kilometer with the bright coma inflating its apparent size. Its low acceleration, about 15 meters per day squared, suggests a massive, dense core resisting gas jet pushes, unlike Oumuamua's mysterious speedup. The coma was active early, at six astronomical units in May, with a sunward dust plume of micrometer-sized grains defying the usual tail pushed away by solar wind. Polarimetry from the VLT showed negative polarization, hinting at a surface of icy grains mixed with dark organic tholins, like those on distant Kuiper Belt objects. Its rotation period, about 16 hours, comes from light curves showing a steady climb to magnitude 14 by September, peaking at 11.5 near perihelion, bright enough for amateur scopes under dark skies. The global response to 3I-A-TLAS has been a masterclass in collaboration. Over 200 observatories, from the Pan Stars in Hawaii to the Gemini South in Chile, have contributed thousands of measurements. NASA's Hubble and JWST broke their schedules for high-resolution spectra, while Spherix mapped a 348,000-kilometer CO2 coma. On October 3rd, Mars orbiters like NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter snapped images from 28 million kilometers, potentially resolving the nucleus. ESA's JUICE spacecraft en route to Jupiter plans November observations with its spectrometers. Amateur astronomers are pitching in with astrometry and upcoming stellar occultations, where the comet blocks background stars, will pin down its shape. A wild card? NASA's Juno probe orbiting Jupiter could theoretically intercept 3I-ATLAS in March 2026 if redirected by mid-September 2025. At tens of millions of kilometers, Juno's infrared and UV instruments could probe gas and dust, but fuel and risk calculations make it a long shot. Still, it sparked talk of a dedicated interstellar intercept mission, maybe a 200-kilogram spacecraft ready to launch on short notice. Misconceptions have swirled, especially after early speculation about artificial origins. A July 2025 RRSHIV paper by Avi Loeb's team noted the flat trajectory, initial lack of outgassing, and size as possible signs of an extraterrestrial probe echoing Oumuamua debates. But the data tells a different story. J, W, S, T, and Swift confirmed classic cometary activity. Gas jets, dust plumes, no radio signals after SETI scans with Green Bank and FAST telescopes. The trajectory aligns with galactic disk dynamics and the nickel-iron split fits rare chemical models. This isn't alien tech, it's an alien comet formed in a stellar nursery unlike our own, possibly 3 to 14 billion years old. The lesson? Extraordinary claims need hard evidence, and 3I-ATLAS delivers natural wonders instead. If you're loving this cosmic detective work, hit that like button and share your thoughts below. What's the weirdest comet trait you've heard about? Why does 3I-ATLAS matter? It's a time capsule from another star carrying clues about planet formation in diverse environments. Its CO2 dominance suggests exoplanets in metal-poor systems might have unique atmospheres, tweaking where we search for life with JWST. Its dust properties inform spacecraft shielding for interstellar missions, and its volatile mix could guide future comet mining for water or fuel. The Global Scramble hones rapid response skills critical for planetary defense against rogue asteroids. With the Vera C. Rubin Observatory launching in 2026, we might spot dozens of ISOs yearly, making these campaigns routine. Each visitor shrinks the unknown, 
teaching us what's possible in nature. As 3i slash ATLAS swings past the sun and vanishes into the galactic void, it leaves us with a richer view of the cosmos. From its odd chemistry to the teamwork chasing it, this comet reminds us how small we are, yet how far our curiosity reaches. What's next? Another interstellar guest, maybe stranger still? Subscribe for updates, share this with a fellow space nerd, and let's keep exploring the universe together.